Hello. For today's nature moment, I decided that I would do something just a little bit different. I got up early this morning and I went out and picked some mullen. Now, in an earlier nature moment, I talked a little bit about mullen and the different uses uh, that there are for mullen. Today, I'm using it to dye sheep's wool. You usually find mullen growing along roadsides and it seems to be very abundant this year. In general, it takes about three pounds of plant material to dye a pound of wool. Okay, here you can see I've simmered the mullen leaves for about an hour. And when I pull them aside, you can see Once you have extracted the dye from the plant material, you must add a mordant to the dye bath that helps the color adhere to the wool fiber. An interesting side note is that the word mordant is French and it means bite. So the mordant helps the dye bite into the wool fiber, making it permanent. There are several different mordants that can be used, such as alum, tin, chrome, copper, or iron, and they all will affect the final color that you will achieve with a given plant. Some of the mordants are poisonous if not used properly, so today I'm using alum to set the color in the wool. This is what the sheep's wool looks like before it goes into the dye bath. The only thing that has been done to this wool since it was sheared off of the sheep is that it has been washed. I placed it into these net bags just to make it easier to handle. Now I'm adding it to the dye bath where it will simmer for about an hour. I let the wool cool in the dye bath, then rinsed it with clean water several times to remove the excess dye. Here's what it looked like after it dried, a nice pale lemony yellow. As I mentioned earlier, other colors may be obtained from the mullen plant, depending on which mordant you use to set the color. As you can see in this sample that I dyed previously using different mordants, a range of colors may be made from mullen. There are quite a few books available in our catalog that you can place on request if you're interested in learning more about natural dyeing. I hope that you have enjoyed this nature moment.